And here's my uh, first load, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, drove to Niagara on the Lake, Ontario today. First day with the uh, new company, first load, first trip for this truck. And this is a grape harvester. Like a little tractor that goes uh, over a uh, over a row of grapes in there. And they go, it can go up and down. It's like full of hydraulic. And very interesting machine. It's a used one, so they sold it to someone in the States. And he had some trouble uh, climbing on without those boards. See, because my ramps are about six, six inches off the ground. But now it looks like it's okay. Very, very tall machine. Well, he made it. I hope I don't have to unload it over there. <laughs> I have no idea how, how to drive this thing. in Ontario, going west towards Hamilton and then uh, the border, U.S. border in Port Huron, Michigan. The truck runs good, very quiet, uh, the cruise control works great. I like it. Now everything happened uh, very quickly yesterday. Uh, I drove to this company. I drove to the company in my pickup truck, picked up my uh, plates, decals, you know, all the, all the good stuff, and then I installed it, got my first load, like the first dispatch, and now we are trucking. Finally, I'm making money. I just checked my old uh, logbook, and I stopped on September 12th. September 1, 2, 12th, right? And today is uh, October 30th. It's almost, well, not two months, but what is it? Like six weeks? So. So I drove, uh, what, probably three, 400 kilometers already with uh, in the new truck. So I got some, uh, I'll give you guys some uh, fresh imp first impressions. Well, first of all, the truck, of course, is much quieter than my International. And it has less power, that's for sure. Like going up hills, you know, I can feel that this is a 13 liter engine, but it's a very smart 13 liter engine. And you know, once you put it, uh, in, uh, when you, once you turn, turn on the cruise control, you know, it just it's, uh, it acts much better. Uh, so I think the fuel mileage will definitely be better. So, but uh, the the fun factor is a bit is a bit lower than with the cat because there's just not as much torque. You know. Uh, now I started driving. Uh, it was still dark, so I had to drive with uh, lights. And the headlights on this thing are amazing. Basically, there's uh, low beams, and you can get two two uh, modes in low beams. Uh, like when you turn the the knob to to headlights, it's regular low beams, and then if you pull that knob, uh, the, it become everything becomes much brighter. But it's not high beams because high beams, of course, you know, you switch on with your uh, lever on the steering column. It's like amazing and oh and the very cool thing the illumination inside the cab the dash is like uh, you know space kind of uh, lights you know like uh, light blue lights kind of like an expensive cars uh, very comfortable uh, inside okay and also 
also I'm glad that I have all these uh, gauges. I always wanted to have, uh, you know, exhaust temperature gauge. Uh, well, turbo boost, I had that on the International, but here everything is from the plant already installed, you know. And I played with the driver information center and you can set up, you know, what gauges you see there, uh, basically in the digital form. And uh, the bottom left was a battery, like showing me the voltage of my battery, like the charge, uh, the charge, you know, how many volts are being fed into the battery, like why do I need that? So I found the alternate switch, which is called uh, load, load. It shows how, basically, how hard the truck works. And then also right under that load, uh, I see if I'm driving like at a good RPM, I see like two two dollar signs, you know, like a dollar sign, dollar dollar. And there's two of those. That means that it's in a sweet spot, and that means that my fuel economy is good. And I notice that uh, those signs disappear when the load on the gauge goes over 65 percent. Like if I go uphill, and this is not a very heavy load, but it's it's tall, so it catches lots of wind. So. If I'm going uphill, sometimes I see with the cruise control it shows 100% load. So like the my boost goes like through the roof, and of course those do dollar signs disappear. So it's not economical uh, mode. But then once I uh, climb over the top and the load goes below 65 or 66, I see those dollar signs reappear. So you know it's a good. Very driver-friendly truck. Lots of gauges, indicators, you know, basically helping you, you know, save money. And I figured that I drive, I drove at uh, 95 k an hour, you know, 96, 97, basically 97 is 60 miles an hour. And I found that 97 is a bit better, or oh, 60 miles an hour. So it gives a little bit of extra horsepower to this uh, small engine. And at 97, my RPM is uh, just over 1400 because I have a 3.91 uh, XL ratio. So it's a very interesting. Oh, and also I, I like very much the uh, the transmission. That was just a fluke when I had problems uh, shifting. It's all it's all because of the, the relative position of the seat and the pedal. Uh, and I found that. Everything goes uh, smoothly when I push the pedal, the clutch, with the top of my foot, you know, like where the, basically where your toes are, right? Because then you can, you can because I got long legs, and turns out before I just wasn't pushing the pedal, uh, you know, far enough, and my, my uh, the toes were catching on the, on the fabric in there. Not on the fabric, but I mean, it's just that there's a weird shape of that well where the clutch sits. So you gotta find the position where you can, you know, use your basically the, the top part of your foot. And it shifts real nice. Basically, I'm losing 200 RPM with each shift, so I accelerate to 1400, like in higher gears uh, when shifting up. And then next gear, I am at uh, 1,200 RPM. So 200 RPM with each shift. And once you figure that out, and then you notice, you know, uh, like when you end up at 1,200, like is that enough? You know, is that in the new gear? And it pulls okay. Uh, maybe on a hill, I, I accelerate higher. So it's, it, uh, instead of 14, I, I'll go to 1425 in the lower gear, and then I shift. And next gear, it becomes, let's say, 1225. And that's how you figure out how to shift, you know? You, just looking at the RPM that you end up with, is that enough or not? So, no big deal. Like, basically now, this first trip, uh, I'm, I'm like a master in, in disguise with the, shi with the shifting. Shifting is perfect, beautiful, no problems. I'm heading to Missouri with this uh, grape harvester. It's pretty tall, 12 feet, uh, but it's uh, only 26,000 pounds. Uh, it's a used machine, so someone bought it from uh, Canada and is going to another uh, vineyard in Missouri. So 
I'm back on the road, making money and having fun. Thanks for watching.